Good morning, just wanted to do a quick update on the roof bars and their quality and if we like them. A lot of times you'll see uh, reviews on a particular product and people say, these things are awesome, we just put them on. Well, you don't know how they last over time. Hey, good morning. Just a quick look at the hook roof bars that we bought for the Rubicon uh, to put our travel carrier on that someone kindly loaned us and we don't even know that person so that made it even more wonderful. As part of our preparation for the big road trip we needed some additional storage space because the R-Pod does not have much additional space and the Jeep uh, we're gonna have the two of us plus the big dog in the back plus some other stuff so we needed something extra. Um, in order to try and handle that, we put the word out to a bunch of nice people, maybe on Facebook Marketplace, and said, uh, we need a rooftop uh, carrier um, for storage space. Does anybody have one that they might be willing to loan us? Because it's just for four months, so we didn't really want to have to spend all that money to purchase one. And we thought if we had one, we'd be happy to loan it to somebody else. And somebody said, sure, I do have one that you can borrow. So this is the, uh, I think it's the Sears Sport 20 SV. So it's a pretty big one, uh, but it'll fit just fine on the top of the Jeep. So we've got that one going for us. And then we purchased uh, the bars for the top of the Jeep. Did a lot of research to try and figure out which ones would be the best option for us. We didn't want to go super expensive. Uh, with those, you kind of get what you pay for in terms of stability, in terms of noise. But what I think we got is a good middle of the road option. It's the Hook Road roof bars. Um, they might be made in Canada. I'm not too sure about that. It's about 125 bucks on Amazon. So uh, we're gonna show you how we put those together and then we'll uh, definitely give some feedback on how these things work on the road. So here is uh, what it looks like coming out of the box. Uh, the instructions pretty basic here. You got a couple of uh, a couple of steps to screwing these things on. Just need a, a hex a hex wrench, and you'll be good to go. An Allen wrench. All right, so I'll put these on. Let you know how long it took. So there is a a front bar and a rear. They're different uh, dimensions, uh, at least on overall length. If you find out in the very beginning when you were putting these guys, the, the foot, I think they call it, onto the bar. If it's not going on correctly, it's probably because you you got this bar upside down. So keep in mind this little rubber protective part goes on the top. And by the way, the screws that you need are in that little pocket on the side of the box. No worries, everything's included. All right, got them on. It did take like 30 minutes. I kind of stopped in the middle there, but sorry using a new camera. I'm not really used to. So, you know, of course they look good. That doesn't matter at all. It's how well they function. And the main thing I got to check now is to make sure that the center spacing lines up exactly with the rooftop carry itself. And I measured it, of course, but, you know, sometimes things work out a little differently when you actually do it. So I'll let you know how it works out. Actually, I'll show you a, a quick little view of the setup. So this piece, let's see if we can get the sun in here a little bit better. And so it's just these uh, two Allen uh, bolts that go up in there. If you, if you have a, an Allen head for your drill, much easier and much quicker to get this done. Um, so this thing just slides out. You make sure that the lip of this goes behind uh, the gutter mount that you've got on your system and then this pulls up behind it. And you may or may not be able to see it, but there is a rubber protective strip right behind there. So it's not gonna scratch anything with your vehicle. It's a, it's a good setup. I've read different reviews. I think it'll just be a matter of whether or not this can stay taut. And I think the way it's designed, it should be able to stay tight. And we'll keep checking on that. Uh, I believe the newer Jeeps might have the rain gutter that goes all the way back, which would be nice because then you could put 
the uh, carrier on the back half of the Jeep and that would still allow you to take off these freedom tops or whatever it is that they call it. Uh, but the way it is right now, if you're stuck with this, you're locked in, you gotta have those tops on. All right. So it's on, and this is where too many people write a review and say, it's great, it looks awesome. I'll write my review after we're on the road for a while and see what this thing sounds like, see how stable it is. Uh, and again, it's an old used um, Sears Sport 20 SV uh, rooftop carrier. But it's there, it's lined up, centered, secure. We'll see how things go. Check back for a review. We'll update you. Good morning, just wanted to do a quick update on the roof bars and their quality and if we like them. A lot of times you'll see uh, reviews on a particular product and people say, these things are awesome, we just put them on. Well, you don't know how they last over time. So we have completed uh, 14,000 miles on our cross country journey in about 14 weeks. That is uh, when I did the initial clips for the video putting these roof bars on. They've been great, actually. I think they're probably the best buy you can, you can make for the money. Um, I have not had to tighten them one single time. And if you take a look at the Jeep, we use this thing hard. Um, now, I can't say if they're really loud or not because until this morning, for that full 14,000 miles, we've had that huge Sears um, luggage container up on the top of this thing so that is loud and that kills gas mileage but I can't tell you if just driving around with the bars alone if they're loud but uh, again for the money you can't beat the quality that we're getting with these they're super stable and have definitely uh, spanned the test of time so we'll have a, a link to that product down below uh, in the description if you want to pick those up all right, so hit that subscribe button if you want more information about what we're doing with our Jeep or with our R-Pod or just anything uh, that's going on with our crazy journey around the country and ultimately around the world. All right, thanks. Some things are just kind of funny. So if you don't drive a lot with uh, one of those roof carrier things on the roof of your car, you'll do some funny things. Um, kind of like that. So you might say, how could one make that happen when you deal with the physics of the world? I don't know. You just pull in and it's bullet shaped so the front is low and then you just keep going. I think it's fine. I think everything's good. Uh, 